I heard many times from people that at the age of 30, programmer skills quickly degrade and it's better not to hire people who are over this age. I also heard many times from people that this is impossible to get an IT job if you don't have a computer science degree. I also heard many times that it is impossible to switch your career to IT if you previously worked in HR and you are 35 years old. But my example shows that this is actually possible. Hello guys and welcome on my channel. Today we're gonna talk about what it took me to get my first IT job. Currently I'm 42 years old and I work as senior software engineer in one of the big German financial startups. I'm not hiding, you can find my LinkedIn profile and you can see that it has 1000 professional connections, so this is real. If you will scroll through my places of work in, in LinkedIn profile, you will see the very strange shift when I was always working in a bank as a business trainer, for example, but then suddenly I've got a job as an IT developer. And this is it. The mysterious switch of the career. Yes, I'm a switcher. Old switcher. But first of all, let me tell you, what do you need to have as a prerequisite to actually switch to IT if you didn't work there before? First of all, you need to love computers, because for my opinion, it's impossible to learn new programming language on a level that somebody will want to hire you. What do I mean to love computers? I mean, when you can spend many hours of trying to fix some small thing in operating system just for curiosity and you don't notice the time flow. Or another example, when you are obsessed about some sphere, for example, bioengineering, and you understand that it's impossible to advance in this sphere if you don't know a language where you can process big amount of data, for example, Python or R. Another thing that is actually must have for, for people who want to switch the career is a strong motivation. I mean, it's internal motivation which is not based on approval of other people. I know this sounds like I am a captain obvious, but without strong motivation, I think not much is possible. So what was my motivation? My motivation was money, because I remember when, when I was scrolling through the vacancies, when I was looking for a new job and I saw how much money was offered to people who know Angular. And after that, when I saw those numbers, I immediately start to Google what is actually Angular is. Another big motivation for me was the ability to choose the country where I want to live. I wanted to work in different countries. And third one, I like computers and I wanted finally work with them, not with people. But now I want to tell you about with which knowledge or background I came to the process of switching my career onto IT development. Because it will be unfair to say that I was a total zero in IT. I knew something, but not much. So first of all, I have master's degree in banking. It's not connected to IT. And I never had a computer science degree. Another thing, I was very bad in mathematics at school. I can say that I hated this discipline. And by a secret, I can tell you that I'm still bad in mathematics. I never worked officially on developer's position. I can say that I had, let's say, medium knowledge in operating system windows. So I could install it, I could install drivers, I could make a basic setup, install necessary programs, and that's it. And I also knew that such operating system as Linux exists, but I had no idea how to work with it. And what I can say that my knowledge in Windows appeared to be totally useless when I started to work as a developer. I also had some knowledge in hardware so I can assemble and disassemble computer, but it also appeared to be totally useless. I had some decent knowledge in HTML and CSS, and I can say that this knowledge was of great use for me, especially CSS. And I can advise to everybody to start already learning CSS and HTML if you want to work as front-end developer. I had very beginner's knowledge in programming, so I knew what variable is, what functions are generally for, what databases do, but I didn't even know how to include my program inside, I don't know, some environment, for example, in browser to execute it somewhere. But I was pretty much familiar with WordPress. It was because I ran my own blog based on WordPress and I knew how to use this CMS pretty well and I even created a couple of plugins for it. So some basic knowledge of PHP I had. Now about my learning path. It took me general one and a half year from the time I started to learn programming to the time I got my first developer's position. During this time, I took three offline JavaScript courses and I can say that first course was of most use for me 
but another two were mostly useless because they didn't tell me anything new and all information I could take from internet myself. I read big book about CSS3 and also I read whole ng book. At that time it was the biggest manual about how to use Angular. Fun fact that after that, when I actually started to work as IT developer, not many people believed me that I read this whole book because it was really big and very boring. Another thing which was of great use for me is completion of different tutorials which I found in internet. In these tutorials, people simply took different services, connected them using JavaScript and created working application which can do some particular thing. For example, take payments, provide authentication uh, services, save something in database and so on. This allowed me to understand which services exist, how they communicate and, you, and what you can do with them using JavaScript. Generally, I fulfilled around two tutorials per week. And final thing, I did not have any mentor or somebody who could help me with programming if I had some questions about it. So coming up to my second job pass. So as I said before, it took me one and a half year until I got my first position as software developer. During this time, I applied to approximately 100 companies. I was not spamming everybody, so I tried to estimate my chances to get the position and I sent them my application. During this time, I had around certain interviews, I mean with certain different companies, and I failed them all. Approximately after one year, I was offered by my friend to help him on hourly basis to fix styling glitches in one Angular project. This project was on very raw state. I fixed those glitches and this project silently died after three months because it ran out of money. But besides getting my first money as IT developer, after that I could say on interviews that I have already experience in projects based on Angular. So my self-esteem was greatly boosted by that fact. And finally, my technical interview after which I got my offer to Riga Accenture lasted something like 10 minutes and nobody asked me any technical question. So this is everything that I wanted to say in this video. This is my story and you probably will have another story. And I will be very glad if you will briefly share it in the comments to this video. This video is just another example that big motivation, systematic approach and persistence really can make things happen even if everybody tells that this is not possible. So if you enjoyed it, I will appreciate if you will hit like button. Thank you for watching to the end. Bye bye guys. Have a nice day.